Hello students, I am Anila Thomas. Today I am going to explain a lesson, Biodiversity and Conservation, Part 2 of Class 8 Biology. We know that the sum of total living organisms is known as biodiversity. We need to protect the diversity of living organisms to maintain balance in the ecosystems. Already some of the species are lost or disappeared from earth's surface and some are in danger and may disappear soon. These are known as endangered species. The measures of saving flora and fauna so that they are not lost from the earth's surface are being carried out through conscious steps of conservation. So, after the completion of this lesson, you will be able to know list of the endangered species, the importance of conservation of wildlife, wildlife sanctuaries, National Parks and Biosphere Reserves Endemic Species Project Tiger Migration of Birds and Recycling of Paper Reforestation Keywords Endangered species Extinct species Endemic species Flora Fauna, Red Data Book, National Park, Sanctuary, Migration, Invasive, Conservation. Let's learn about endangered species. Our country is a home for variety of species with rich flora and fauna. Flora is the plant life occurring in a particular area. Fauna is the animal life occurring in a particular area. The Royal Bengal Tigers, the Asiatic Cheetah, and several other birds are found in India. But Due to reasons like environmental pollution, deforestation, loss of habitat, human interference, 
poaching and hunting. Many animals in India are extinct and many are endangered. Endangered means it is a warning signal about the organisms whose number has declined rapidly and the species might be wiped off from the earth in near future. An endangered species is an animal or a plant that is considered to be at the risk of extinction. The species which no longer exist on earth are called extinct species. For example, dinosaurs, dodo. The following are the animals that have become rare these days and may disappear soon. Reptiles, some lizards, turtles, crocodiles and gharials. Birds, falcon, eagle, hawk, vulture, peacock, peahen, pigeon, duck mammals wild cats such as tigers lions deer such as chinkara and black buck chiru tibetan goat musk deer, rhino, elephants, blue whale, flying squirrel. How would we know about endangered species? Whether a particular species is endangered or not is determined by the following ways. When the geographical range of the species is limited, the population of the species is limited, that is, less than 50 adult individuals. When the population has decreased or will decrease by more than 80% in 10 years. If the population is less than 250 individuals and is continuously declining at 25% for the past 3 years. There is a high possibility of extinction in the wild. What are the causes for endangerment? There are various reasons why a species may become endangered or extinct. Loss of habitat Over hunting and poaching, pollution, new habitat, 
chemicals, diseases, natural calamities. What should we do for the conservation of forest and wildlife? To protect our flora and fauna and their habitats, protected areas called wildlife sanctuaries, national parks and biosphere reserves have been established. Plantation, cultivation, grazing, cutting trees, hunting and poaching are prohibited there. Wildlife Sanctuary These are the areas where animals are protected from any disturbance to them and their habitat. These are like reserve forests, provide protection and suitable living conditions to wild animals. The people living in wildlife sanctuaries are allowed to do activities like grazing by their livestock, collecting medicinal plants, firewood, etc. National Park National parks are the areas reserved for wildlife using the habitats and natural resources. They preserve flora, fauna, landscape and historic objects of an area. The Satpura National Park is the first reserve forest of India. There are more than 100 national parks in India. The list of national parks in India are shown in the table. Biosphere Reserve Large areas of protected land for conservation of wildlife, plant and animal resources and traditional tribal living in the area. The biosphere reserves are the areas meant for the conservation of biodiversity. A biosphere reserve may also contain other protected areas in it. The Pachmadi Biosphere Reserve consists of one national park 
named Satpura and two wildlife sanctuaries named Bori and Pachmari. The list of biosphere reserves in India are shown in the table. Now, let's see what are endemic species. Some animals and plants typically belong to a particular area. The plants and animals found in a particular area are termed flora and fauna respectively of that area. Endemic species. The species of plants and animals which are found exclusively in a particular area and not found anywhere are called endemic species. A particular type of animal or plant may be endemic to a zone, a state or a country. The endemic flora of the Pachmadi Biosphere Reserve includes sal trees, wild mango trees, bison, Indian giant squirrel and flying squirrel. How the biodiversity is balanced? In nature, many habitats exist are quite different from each other. Natural calamities like floods, earthquakes, forest fires or human intervention wipe out diverse forms in an area. Yet, after some time, we find organisms growing in those areas. The process often occurs as sudden invasion of organisms like plants, insects, microbes, humans, etc. They interact with each other and form new habitats and increase in numbers till the habitat gets balanced in its own manner. Invasive Alien Species IAS When an alien species is introduced or invades, it spreads throughout the natural habitats and threatens biodiversity. Even transport of few species to new environment becomes invasive. Their negative impacts on food, security, plant, animal and human health can be extensive and substantial. <laughs> 